Hey, what's up guys? Giancarlo here from GC3 Fitness and in today's video, we're gonna talk about my favorite weighted core exercise and that is the cable crunch, okay? I see too many common mistakes with this exercise, so I wanna make sure we address this now. So you might not even notice, but he's doing something so minimal that you can be doing too. But first, let's address the reason why would we even do weighted core exercises in the first place. Well, if you want your abs to be more visible, to pop out more, just like any other muscle group in your body, then you're gonna wanna focus on your nutrition. Okay, you have to make sure that we are losing body fat to make these abs visible. You have them, I have them, we all have them, but if they are not visible, it's because you are not focusing on your nutrition. You can do as many cable crunches, as many weighted exercises in general, but if your nutrition is not your number one focus, then they will never show, okay? You have a better advantage at a higher body fat percentage for your abs to be more visible when implementing weighted core exercises, okay? Now, how many reps should you be focusing on? Well, if building muscle is what you want, you're gonna wanna focus on your hypertrophy, meaning in that 10 to 12 rep range, okay? Focus on that mind-muscle connection when performing these exercises, okay? That was said back in the day for a reason. It works, use it. Focus on the muscle you are working on. We're working on our core, so really squeezing and contracting the muscle, just like anywhere. Don't just use this on your core, use it on your biceps when you're doing your back, your legs, any exercise in general, all right? Now, let's go into these common mistakes. You ready? First, I'm gonna introduce you to, okay, our demo athlete, okay, we have Bruno here. Here we go, Bruno, okay, so first exercise, okay? We're in the cable crunch. First common mistake, I want you to think when doing this exercise, more protraction, less retraction. What do I mean by that? Okay, retraction, right? He's retracting his scaps back, right? He's pinching his shoulder blades back and now perform this exercise while being here. So, retraction, what does that mean? He will not get the full benefit, the full extension of the exercise. This retraction is making his, pull his shoulder blades back. As he stands up, he is more likely to arch his back, which is also a common mistake we'll get to. Okay, so we wanna make sure we're in a more protracted state, okay? Rounding the, the upper back, okay? Now, you typically won't, we won't see more rounding in like deadlifts or any other fitness exercise, but for this specific one, yes, because we're doing a crunch. So we have to engage, okay, protract to get that round back to curl in as much as possible and get the full range of motion of the exercise, all right? Second common mistake, swinging the weight, all right? Let me see some swinging of the weight. Okay, he's just going up and down. He's not focusing on really squeezing the muscles. He's probably gonna go 15, 20, 25, 30 reps before even stopping because that's when he'll probably feel the burn, all right? Instead, if he slows it down, okay, and really focuses on contracting the muscle, holding it for a second, for, focus on the eccentric part of the movement, coming back down, then he can stop at 10, 12, or even 15 and really feel it even more, right? Get the biggest bang for your buck while doing the exercise. All right, third common mistake, hyperextension or overextension, exaggerating the movement, okay? So here he goes. He goes down, he gets his rep in, he's coming up, he goes up, 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 up. See this load here? You learn this when you're squatting. You don't want this overextension, right? It's this load that we don't need on the spine. So how do we fix that? We bring embrace that TBA, right, that transverse abdominus, squeeze it in, drill it in, drill that belly button to your spine, okay, that protraction is there, now he can go down, right, focus on the forearms going towards the ground instead of the elbows, he can get that natural full round curvature all the way down towards the ground, okay. Fourth common mistake, your stance, okay, where are you, you can be, I see this a lot, Knees are all the way back here. You're way too far from the actual um, positioning of where you should be at, all right? Now where he's at, look how his natural stance is just to bring the cable straight down, all right? Making this, that his hips are going back, making this a hamstring exercise when it shouldn't be, right? Using the hip flexors when he should not be as well, okay? Now, typically I would see maybe you're too close, all right? We have to find that natural balance, right? Too close in the sense that he may even hit the actual weights of how close he is. All right, and now look at his positioning right now where he is. Again, naturally, he's sitting back, all right? He's not getting that full range of motion. He's using momentum, all right, to get down. So we wanna focus on getting neutral stance towards the middle. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different depending how tall you are, all right? So he finds his neutral stance. 
We want to work on 90-90, right? His calves, his knees are aligned with his hips. His hips are going to stay right here, and his main focus is his rounding right here with his core. So here we go. Let's see it, right? Notice everything is nice and stagnant right here. Going up. Give me like two or three, Bruno. Going down and up. Okay, notice he stops right here. He stops the hyperextension. He's going all the way down, focusing on his forearms going towards the ground okay and then last common mistake using your lats okay you have to know what you want out of this exercise you want a lat exercise then we do wet wide grip pull-ups wide grip pull downs lat pull downs all right this is not a lat exercise this is a cable crunch for your crunch so what he's doing here he's letting his arms go up high that now he needs to engage his lats to pull down and then go into a core exercise making this a lot more fatiguing and a lot harder than what it should be Okay, so Bruno, I want you to give me three or four, five at most of the, the best position you got of the exercise after hearing all the common mistakes we just went over. So notice the cables are right by his head, okay? He is not hyperextending. This stays nice and stagnant. He is working his way down to his forearms are going towards the ground, not just his elbows. Full range of motion, full crunch, and hold at the bottom with the eccentric part. He is controlling, he is showing full control of the exercise, okay? Picking your weight is extremely important. Thank you, Bruno. Okay, picking your weight for this exercise is extremely important. We wanna stay away from injuries, which is why we just talked about these common mistakes. If you wanna keep longevity in your exercises and in your training, then maybe leaving your ego at the door when it comes to weighted exercises is a lot better than just risking yourself at risk for an injury or adding too much weight in the sense of that you can't even control it and you're not getting the full benefit of it because you can't really focus on the contraction, squeezing, mind-muscle connection because you're just working on getting that dumbbell or whatever it is from point A to point B way too fast. All right, guys, hopefully this video helped. If it did, make sure to hit me with a like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to tap that little bell so you guys get notified when I post. As for now, I gotta get ready for our next video. It is extremely hot in here. The fans are off, the AC's off. I'm sweating like crazy. I'll catch you guys in our next video. Let's go. Hey, show them that hat though. Oh, that hat? Oh, these new hats are coming on sale soon. Not yet though, but on sale. We're in the works, right? That GC3 Fitness hat. And poppy hats, in case you don't know them, them dad hats. My favorite weighted core exercise, and that is what the f you know, I This guy needs a f around, bro. What are you doing? What? <laughs> what is that, bro? I look back and see like Spider Man performing <laughs> hip thrust rest, and it's still considered a core exercise. <laughs> God, what the f? Duck as he feet in the mud. You have been caught in the flood. <laughs> While the water is.